Hi, my neck. Okay, get somewhere quiet. So I, I'm, I'm assuming you must already heard your baby mama call me. Nah, what's you, nah, what you doing in the ground here? Who is it? You're, well, first of all, this is a single show, and I just answered the phone. I didn't know it was your baby mama until she came on looking for love. Was she looking for love? <laughs> my baby daddy is quote unquote famous. My baby daddy is wide, Nick. Folks, because what she's saying is you're the one that switched up. You're the one that got famous and you stopped taking care of her and the poor kids. No, I take care, I take care of my kids the rest of this day. See what it is? See, see, it's two sides to every story. And one thing about it, I've been through like I've been in out of prison all my life. So like for me to change for the good and to better myself and, and still you moving on with me. You don't want to leave the city. I got to leave the city. I've been there all my life. I've been a criminal. I sold drugs. I sold dope, shot people, all this shit in the same city. So if I leave and you don't want to come, I'm going to leave. I'm changing my life. I done dodged prison. I've been in prison twice. I ain't trying to be there the rest of my life. So, Okay. Is, is Wide Neck running the Victim Olympics? He came in. He said he'd been to jail. His story is he ain't denying the woman. He said she didn't want to leave with me. She wanted to stay in the hood. I told her I'm leaving the hood. I don't know how true that is, but it's, it, it, it sounds it's, like it's a possible good woman. That's not. It's, it's, it, it's possible. She, you see this woman. She ain't sitting up there like, uh, like. Can y'all picture his baby mom in any other environment other than the hood nearest you? I think he's telling some truth. I think she like. <laughs> why I'm leaving the hood? I'm running this. And white neck, like I done shot folk. I got I got ops looking for get back. I'm trying to be out of here, bone quisha. And it's possible she was like, I ain't going nowhere. I run these Good mentality. She like, you know how much dope we can buy with all this money you got? They be mm -hmm. thinking so foolishly, they can't transition that into a to a stable, legitimate life. She probably was, you know, trying to take the clean money and do dumb stuff with it. And he yes. like, look, you know, y'all know how this go. Uh, so why Nick come on here? I I told y'all I know he's gonna come over with some with some sweet lies and he up here. Yes, he is trying to run in the victim Olympics. No, come on, call it what it is. Stop stop telling the the prettiest side of the story. Maybe they did have this conversation, but Negro stop. You got some bread, you got Far better options, and you start exercising them options like Richard Simmons. It was over to stop. So I bet everybody all. <laughs> so here we go. Use is is women out here trying to virtue signal. Now he on here trying to virtue signal. Like, look, Kendra, I got the bag, and I said, look, I'm trying to change my life. So we gotta leave the city, but she ain't trying to leave the city. Cap, cap. Okay, I'm play devil's advocate because we looking at this story from one side. Let's let's look at it like this. For a woman, Wide Neck has come into some fortune, some fame, some money, right? And this woman apparently has nothing. At this point, I would say the best, most equipped parents should have the children. In our community, so much we so used to the kids just staying with mama. But if mom, mama has failed and it's forfeited the responsibility of taking care of children. It, I would say the kids go with whoever got the most resources and whoever can take care of the kids the best. Yeah, you can't I be agree. sitting here trying to extract money out of somebody so that you can take care of these kids. If you can't take care of them, send them with their daddy or vice versa. Now that makes sense, but you know, usually the case is is the kids staying with the mother, you know, regardless, and her extracting funds. And her survival, it's, her survival is dictated on having these kids. If I give you these kids, I'm not getting my entitlement programs anymore. So it's go. all idiots at that point. There She's you not go. gonna send them kids with wide neck so that they can live a let's say wide neck wanted these kids and he wanted to show them a better life. She wouldn't do it because she would lose her section eight, she would lose food stamps. She would have, you know what I mean? It wouldn't work out for her. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now, y'all ladies, tell that part, tell that harsh truth. Say, you know what? I refuse to send my children, our children, to my to to their father because I will lose my government stimulus and benefits package. 
and I fear that he will do to me what I did to him. And that's run me through the through the uh, court system. But that's that ain't the case with man. Huh? No, at all. They ain't looking for that. Sometimes they just want their kids and you out the way. That would be probably best for wide neck, or at least two of the kids, whatever, something. Something. You can't, you can't take care of five kids. You have forfeited. You can't keep trying to run everybody else through the mud. No, I get it. The man lay down, but send them kids. You can't. She here. She said, I can't. It ain't fair that she that I gotta take care of five kids by myself. This ain't fair. Uh, let's get into it. Go mind through it. Make sure y'all hitting the like button. We're going to cook tonight. Let's see what Wide Nick got to say. Of course, I'm going to leave. I'm not leaving my kids. I'm leaving you. I still be there for my kids ready this day. Okay, for then the child's supposed to put me in jail. I'm glad that she out reaching out to everybody, letting everybody know because my lawyer, like, you feel me? He own that. So I ain't even tripping on none of that. I'm good on all that. My life's good. I'm in a big ass house. My fiance right here. You feel me? I got a pool in the backyard, you know. I got you feel. Well, that's what listen, but but you're making her point because what she's saying is you have the money. Why are you not take? Why are you not helping her out with your four kids? Like you have a new woman, so you do. Do you think? Do you think you left her once you got so famous? Give me the cash they got more money. What, what are you? Look, look, I'm, just I'm just finished. I'm just finished. I'm just finished. I'm just finished. Oh, can't just say. Can't just say. You you got this big house. You got the bull in the back. Why ain't you take care of your kids? You say, you know what, man? Pay me the cash out. Pay me the receipts. So apparently, why well, Nick got some receipts? <laughs> yeah. Go. Fat Nick. Fat Nick say, look, I ain't even got time to go back and forth with you, Kendra. He said, hey, bae, give, give, give Daddy White Nick the receipts. Let, let me give me show, let me show Kendra my cash out. Y'all kill me with that. Go ahead. Show the world your cash out. Where my, my, my crew? I got a stack of papers. See, I'm on, I'm on my shit right now. I'm finna show y'all. I'm finna show y'all something. See, this, see, there's two sides to every story. I got everything right here. What, one thing she trying to do, you not trying to work. I mean, you've been with the government all your life. You see, that's all you, that's all you know. You go to the government and continue to let them help you. Hey, babe, where the papers at? I'm on her. Like, that's one thing I learned. You see, me like, I learned, I learned to stop running from the white folks. You feel me? Like I'm running to them. Like you can't, you can't try to bash my career and do all this. I wasn't none of this when I was in the streets. I wasn't no deadbeat when I was in prison. I wasn't no deadbeat when I was getting shot at. Running from the law, you was dumb. But when I changed my life, you want to bash this and that, this and that. Da, 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 da. Cool. But I got everything right here. I'm waiting on. It. But I'm glad. I got, I got a question. I got a question. So I got a question. If what you're saying is true, how was she able to lock you up last November for not because paying child support? Scared. Is this a case where the money is never good enough that she wants wide neck himself? Like if she wanted, oh, I don't think she, no amount of money is going to suffice him leveling up and being with some Instagram model or whatever. She, she wants wide neck. I'm yeah, saying. she wants wide neck. What else does she come on, dog? Come on, we gotta stop this. What else do does his ex, Big Bone Quisha, what else does she qualify for? She is she gonna find something better than Brother Wide Neck? No, especially not a wide neck with resources. She can definitely find another downtrodden, funky, dusty, destitute, uh, pre fame wide neck. For sure, she can, but she does. She want him because that's that's the closest she gonna get to a man with some kind of financial stability. But that brother, long, long gone. She big, built, wild, five kids deep. He done found her himself some tender thing. Y'all know what this is. He done hit her with that heart of nights. He said, he's, <laughs> he said, hey, put your mom on the phone, hey, babe. I ain't coming home no more. Take it easy. Dunzo. Like I said, he virtues. He was trying to virtue signal talking about she ain't trying to get out the hood with him. No, no, fat neck. You that there could be some truth there, but 
you start getting attractive women hitting on you and you didn't blink you was in there and out of there i don't too much blame him because if you seen your man leveling up in life and you still want to present him with your best self you know you knew why nick was out so she started i've never been on child support for once never i want to see just put me in child support back in 20, 2019 when i popped they get that clear. Never been on child support. Just came, just got on child support when I popped. Money home. Like I say, here you go, here you go, everything right here. I'm waiting. This is what I'm waiting on. Yeah, these, yeah, these are all my cash as payment. That's my child support. How much do you pay your money? Yeah, that, that ain't all about all that, but this is what I'm sending her. So as you can see, I'm seeing like 50s and 20s, 100 here, 150 there, 20 here. As we, one thing we must understand, this ain't he ain't Sean Combs or nobody. This guy is no millionaire or billionaire. He's just fortunate. And he's able to acquire a bag. Like he ain't probably got a million dollars, but he can go do something, and make a quick five grand real quick, quick 10 grand real quick. And he can keep, you know, just keep that going. Yeah, that's that's all. He can go ahead and acquire a little, little uh, five thousand, two thousand, thirty-five hundred uh, dollar bags here and there. Work every day. Mm -hmm. There you yeah. go. So he, he definitely running around hustling and bustling, and like you said, that cash app he's sending fifty, seventy-five, twenty-five hundred. He he only sending over bread whenever she requested. She out with the kids trying to get ice cream. You got fifty bucks. He will send it. You know, hey, I need gas money, send a hundred. <laughs> oh my god. So she ain't he ain't just sending, you know, he might send something, you know, for a holiday or something, but she gotta request his bread to get it. Look, twenty-five dollars, thirty-five dollars, fifty, you know what that is. Yeah, that's that huh. and we don't know what she's doing with the bread. Who knows? There well, you go. go. It's it's a it's a lot of factors, but this is hood mess. Yeah. There shall be no good could ever come from it. You can't make sense of it. Ain't nobody. I'm just I'm just on her ass. Like I'm on. Wait, that says twenty dollars, ten dollars. No, these these are different. Yeah, they just okay. different. Yeah, of course it's gonna be little pit, little money, but all this shit adds up. All this shit adds up. So. So, so, so you're saying the allegation she made about you being a Debbie dad? I tell you what, I got true. four kids by her. My oldest son. When's the last time you saw your kids? When's she, the last time you saw your kids? The same time that she tried to put me in jail when I had them, when she dropped them off to me. She played little. She played little. She, she played little that duck ass November. games. She, she played little police ass games like that. You feel me? But. But you haven't. No, I see. I just, I was just in the city. I just, I just dropped my kids off Valentine's stuff at they, at they uh school. See, she's so nasty. She's so dirty. She take, she take my name off the list. So I got to do everything I do now. I got to bring the police there. I got to let my judge know. I got to let my, my lawyers know all this. So now it's like, I can't just deal with my kids like court order. Cause she take their phone. She make them not talk to me. She take them off the uh, parenting list at schools and all this shit. So it's like, I got to go through all the over all the obstacles and all this other shit to deal with my kids because I'm not dealing with you. That's the whole thing. And my bitch better than her, you feel me? But it, it's like. Ding, 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 ding. There you go. He said, I ain't dealing with her and my new chick better than her. She's so scorned and bitter. This is a lose, 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 lose for him. It just is. It is. And he telling the story, talking about he can't go up to the school. She taking my name off the visitation list, whatever. All this nasty stuff. And look, we will never sit up here and justify any man not taking care of his children. At the very same time, women, you got to know who you decided to make kids with. Things ain't going to work out the way you want. But from what he's saying and from his receipts, there can be some degree of normalcy and co-parenting. He ain't just up and going like, you know what? Bye. I'm gone. He's showing like, look, I'm sending this. I'm doing something. But it's overbone, Quisha. 
he do not desire you. You have fumbled this. You screwed up. It's over. It's just over. Her, the best thing she can do is start moving in a way that's best for the children. And that is be cordial with her wild neck baby daddy. Let him move on and keep collecting collecting cash apps and try to act, act like she got some sense. Y'all understand? This is still nug nug. Go on, bone, quick. You get yourself in the best shape you can. Try to act halfway feminine. And go ahead and, and invite uh, Fat Neck over for whatever his favorite food or dessert is. You know, Gordon May oodles and noodles. And and go ahead and try to put the wop on him. Y'all know how y'all do. Try to entice him back. But by being combative, that ain't going to do it. That ain't going to do it. You ain't got nothing going for you. You need to do your best to try to remind him of that old sweet thing when it was all good and cute <laughs> that you need to do your best. I think she know it's over. She ain't trying to save no face. She know it's over. She going nuclear. Yes, she is. Because like she I said, she probably been, and she confirmed, she said, Kendra, I've been trying to get on here so long. I said, she's been waiting to tell this story for so long. She just needed a platform. She couldn't wait. That's how she said, I'm nervous. She couldn't breathe. You're right. She couldn't get it out fast enough. Uh, but you know what? She losing. And like you said, this is a lose, lose, lose. And whoever his fiance is, she knows she wrong. Come on, we ain't gonna just skim over this. Any sister that's entering into this world with, and he's sitting there. Come on, she ain't oblivious to the madness. He's sitting there, hey, babe, hand me the paperwork, hey, babe, where the court orders, hey, babe. So she enshrouded in this madness, and she know what she getting into. Ain't no sane wife minded woman coming into a situation like this she there just to get her piece of the bag too don't ever get that misunderstood that'd be about it that <laughs> oh boy i wonder if she got kids i wonder what their situation is that's funny yeah good question like i said i know she uh he go on his instagram page he got pictures of her i'll see if we can get to that but we're gonna let him keep mining this out we'll finish what he got to say he's defending himself if you haven't seen earlier in the show, his girlfriend, his ex, his ex, or his baby mama, if you will. There you go. His baby mama came on the show. He got four kids with her. And she said, Wide Neck then came up on the bag and he done left and don't take care of his kids. So Wide Neck said, That's BS. He got receipts. So there we are. Like, it's like, like I say, it's like, it's like a hate thing. Now it's like you came from supporting me to my business, my biggest enemy right now. For why I don't know. You feel me? It just. Well, she. I mean, she. I mean, according to her, she's raising these kids there. by herself. She, you no, are, the government. You have this the money. You have a new No, woman, the government raising my child. kids. Like that girl, bro. I'm telling you, that girl, bro. Like I respect every black woman with kids, whatever. I'm. A, I'm one of the fathers that. The made baby that want to be there, you feel me? Like, I never left my kids. She would tell you that. My my, my oldest son is 13. He's old enough to talk. You feel me? And that's where I'm at right now. Like, when, when we go to court now, it's going to come out. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's not about me. It's not about her. It's about my kids at the end of the day. You want to bash me because I don't want to. I don't want, I, it's not that I'm not trying to be with my kids. It's There you go. Baby mama drama, man. The name of the show. He seemed for, for a nug nug. All right. He seemed to be an honorable nug nug. There you go. He, you know, for as much for what he is. I don't he probably comes from nothing, right? And he's doing the best he can as far as being a parent. Like you said, I hope y'all ain't looking for Cliff Huxtable. <laughs> there you go. I guarantee you. If we dig into the story that is wide neck, his upbringing ain't going to be good. It's just, I want to say it's about impossible. You know, we find out why he got that high, he really got that wide neck, because it didn't come from being in vitro for 10 months. That's just sick. Wow. No. <laughs> but yeah, wide neck, I got, I'm feeling for wide neck. Why he said it, he confessed it with his mouth. You got to respect the man that confess it with his mouth. 
He said, I am one of those fathers that want to be there for my kids. I ain't like that, don't you see? I'm, I I aim to be an outstanding nug nug individual. I feel you, white nug. I feel you. Not that I'm not trying to parent with you. It's not that I'm trying to come to no type of agreement to deal with you and my kids, but deal with my kids as co-parenting. You deny every asset that I'm trying to go to deal with my kids because I'm not dealing with you. And that's what it is. Like a whole a whole year and a half straight, she ran me and my other bitch. Taking pictures of the tags, pulling up at their houses, pulling all up at a job, like seeing the police, sending the other little wretched ass bitches to a job, like interviewing all like little pet ass, little stupid shit like that. This is what she do. You feel me? But I'm not gonna, I'm bigger. And like I said, like I'm wiser now. Like there's a lot of shit I don't do that I used to do. And like we always say, fellas, you gotta be careful. I would say the best practice for a man is to move through life as if you're gonna become famous and fortunate one day. No matter how down bad you is, always move and make choices as if tomorrow you're gonna be hit the powerball or something. But that's how we need to be moving. You can't be moving like, oh, I don't care about, about tomorrow and you all in this sorrow and in your feelings and you don't care. No, brothers, sisters, pick yourself up. Make decisions as if you're going to be famous and fortunate tomorrow. There you go. You know what? Quick story. I used to get made fun of as a young kid because I used to always say you got to think about the future. You Like Gavin said, you got to think ahead like, okay, Someday I am gonna be worth a damn. You can sit there and reflect. So you know what? I ain't I ain't worth a damn right now. But I plan on being worth a damn down the road. And you gotta move accordingly. Cause it's safe to say that brother Fat Neck did not think he was gonna be worth a dang. And and it probably was probable that he wouldn't be. He lucked up. He went viral. It's safe to say he lucked up. But we gotta do better. Cause if you move like you ain't gonna be worth a damn, most likely you're gonna be true. And that's what the, that's the old saying. If you say you can, you right. If you say you can't, you right. So there you go. That's Brother Wide next story. We'll let him finish, give him his last word, and we'll move on. But this is, uh, it seems to be different tone. From him to her, all is night and day. And another thing is they can take this in the court, this, just this footage alone. It shows the tale of two takes, if you will. Like, I really like slow down. I really like saving myself for a reason. But it just, I don't have time to go back and forth with one female when I have access to the whole world. And it's more, it's more women, more females out here that want to do stuff, want to be somebody, want to go back to school, trying to learn, trying to trying to like grow with somebody like you don't want to do none of that you want a nigga to, to take care of you you want to ship dope and shit in and out of prison you want to bring dope and shit you feel me this is what you want to do i'm not in that position no more so if that's what you still want to do go ahead and get you a nigga in the state and you can keep on trafficking and whatever you want to do that's what you want to do and she did say she was a hustler so he said she liked to uh smuggle dope into prison <laughs> man she said it she said i want me an honest man now because i was a hustler i was it be cap listen here that woman his ex she she is not she ain't good folk she they be telling these half uh truths these half uh braddock truths that got a little bit of truth a lot of bit of lie in it and but it sounds so good she sat there and told you, you know she a hustler, but she didn't say, "Yeah, I like to smuggle dope in and out of penitentiaries." That's how I get down because I'm a desperado. She didn't care to go into that that much detail because it painted a much darker picture. I feel brother Fat Neck. I feel him. I feel him. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm more. <laughs> I'm trying not to have a bias. But I feel him. Like I said, he confessing with his mouth. He's saying that he telling his truth. He said, "Look." That ain't me. I'm out here. I'm out here uh, ducking the reaper, trying and, to get my life. This, this hits on something you said a long time ago. All right, you once said these people are out here together by proxy. You once said, give any any man or woman 
in the hood in these wonky relationships, you want to say, get it, get one of them a million dollars and see if they stay together. And the answer is no, 100% of it's the a time. Classic case. This is the classic, this is the prototype. Yes. He, they said, I was, he said, I was around different kind of women. And I was, I mean. Fat, uh, thick, <laughs> wide neck and his ex, they belong together. They matched, don't you see? They matched. And then money came into the fold where only one had access to it. And it was split city. Just as I said, it's going to happen 100% of the time. They're together by proxy. That is it. You put some bread in there and they're going to go wherever they want to go. Because they're only together because they must be. They financially interdependent. Whatever the case so what may percentage, be. What percentage of relationships in the hood do you think people are simply together because of this scenario? At least 80%. 75% minimum. I'm serious. It's bad. A lot of y'all in the hood, y'all only together because y'all simply stuck. Y'all are literally stuck together. What do I mean by that? Y'all are financially interdependent and y'all cannot survive on your own. So y'all just stay together. Y'all won't leave. And y'all fight it out, duke it out, lie it out, cheat it out, cry it out, drink it out, smoke it out, all that. But y'all not happy because y'all know y'all can't stand each other. Y'all be playing out on each other, but y'all stuck because y'all interdependent and y'all want to be so damn independent. It's just, it's a sick joke. But yeah, at least 80%, at least 80% of the relationships in the hood, they're together just, just uh, due to circumstance. Don't bring me and bash my name and bash my face, my image and all this because you're thinking... I don't want to be with my kids, but I don't want to be with you. Come on, that's. But by me being a, by me being a black male, I'm going every every every, every man gonna look me. So it's like at the end of the day, it doesn't even matter. Like I said, it ain't about me at the end of the day. So like I'm good. Like she got five, she got five okay. kids. Well, I'm she, very she happy got you five came kids. on. She looking for love. I'm very happy you came on. She got five story. kids. Yes, she has. Five kids and she has four, she has five, four kids by you. Love. I'm good. That's one thing about it. Like, I'm not feeling gonna... Yeah, because it's easier. No. Let me say this. It's easier for a man to have four kids and find a new woman. It's not always that easy for women but you to have, have five but a, kids and one find thing a new about a female, a female will always like y'all struggles is not struggles. Because at the end of the day, you have you have she's raising. Her, your your kids are in her house. You think she's not struggling every day? She has five kids in her home. And here we go. I understand. It just hit on what I said a while ago. Why won't she try to send the kids with him instead of extract money out of him? I would think that would be more rational and logical. Like, you know what? I'm going to send these motherfuckers with you. Or I'm going to keep trying to get some bread out of you that may not even be there. Yes. No, I'm not gonna send these kids with you. I need I need to hold on to them because of the resources they uh, make me available to. And that's what he said. He said, Kendra, she ain't hurting. She can she well taken care of Kendra. Don't listen. She just want me back and I ain't going back. That's what he said. But he said she ain't hurting. He said, I'm sending her bread and that government stimulus package she got is something beautiful. And it's <laughs> income tax season. She probably about to come into a quick 10 grand right there. He fucks in on it too. He like, look, Kendra, you know, I'm good over here. She trying to, she looking for love with five kids. He being a dick. He said she looking for love with five kids. She'll stand a chance. <laughs> That's messed up. Yeah, yeah. So it ain't no lies though. We say this all the time. It's a man with kids, he can still go on. Even uh I should bring my man Banger into the room. It's one of Banger's talking points where he say a man can have five, six, however many kids and still be desirable, mm -hmm. you know, by many women, depending on his resources, how he looks and carries himself. But a woman, you got five kids and don't matter how you look, you probably will never find Prince Charming as far as marriage go. But, depending, go. but if you don't look well, then you won't even attract anything at that point. But the but couch grows. So, so, so there you go. If you got you know, <laughs> oh my goodness, a litter of children and you look bad, 
you you definitely ain't getting marriage and you you ain't even gonna get a good time but if you be uh like some of these women out here and you still fit and kind of look like something with a with a litter of chillings only thing you mostly gonna get is a is spurts sporadic good times side piece that's it nice side piece like Y'all you said do? everybody can't be a steak i like me a nice loaded potato you know i like it you know some uh whatever mac and cheese we talking about so y'all gotta understand, don't sleep on the sides, man. That's why I be saying a lot of times I like the sides more than I do, you know, the chicken breast or something. I'd be busting down on the baked potato. You know, what so I mean? the side salad, you know. Some of y'all sisters, y'all are single by the choices y'all have made, and y'all have uh kind of just veered, not kind of, y'all have veered off into into side piece lane. And some, as Kevin will point out, some of y'all are permanent side pieces if y'all lucky y'all y'all can latch on to some rich well-to-do dude and y'all just be permanent his side piece permanently he might even leave you like a hundred grand when he pass there's there's hope out there for some of y'all yet but y'all just gotta learn y'all lane y'all gotta learn where to put y'all price tag and where to put y'all product because y'all out here with hundred thousand dollar price tags and hole in the wall bars with nug nugs and dope boys talking about trying to get married. You see what I'm saying? And he was, and I don't like I, he threw a little bit of shade there at the end, and that's the only look and Kendra coming critical on him. He threw a little that woman sat there for 20 minutes throwing shade. Kendra was a- egging her on. He yeah, come on and he throw an ounce of shade. Kendra ain't letting it slide. So here we go. Uh-huh. She has a struggle. No, she's not. She's not struggling. She's she's struggling because she trying to she trying to pay attention and be in everybody else's business. She's not focusing on herself and what she got to do to better herself. That's why she want to be struggling. You too busy trying to case me up and put cases on me and badge me and kill my fame, kill my image. And at the end of the day, you not taking care of reality, real life. That's this real world out here, like. This shit right here, ain't, this shit bring me more problems than I don't want to be here right now. Like, I ain't asked for none of this. It's a blessing of God. Like, if I asked for it, I would have been here a long time ago when I caught my first shooting case. I wouldn't been here. Like, I ain't asked for this. But I'm not finna look over my blessings. I'm not finna keep on being disobedient and 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 just overlooking shit in life. I'm not finna do it. Like, you not for me. You not for me. Like, you can think you say the same or whatever. Like, that's what it is. Okay, well, listen, y'all have four kids together, so I hope y'all can find a way to co-parent well. But I'm happy you came on. If y'all don't know, his child's mother called me last night on Facebook. It's going to be a highlight tonight, so you guys will be able to see. You're seeing his version before you see her version, and you will and you will be, a, a, I'll make sure I'll give your version to the people, too. All right, Wynek, I appreciate you coming on. Is that what I call you? Is your Charles. name Mr. Wynek? call me Wayne, D.P. Wayne, yeah. Charles. Oh. Well, I will say this. She got if you don't pay your child support payment, she said she got another date March 1st. Like I said, don't have a wide neck and a wide butt. Make sure you take take care of your child Finish. support payment. He hung up on Kendra. Because that's disrespectful, Kendra. <laughs> I we rock with Kendra over here. Y'all know we ain't too critical on her, but that's pretty bold to say that to a man's face. That ain't, I mean, what are we talking about here? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Like, if you put it all into context, it really ain't nothing to joke about. Yeah, it really ain't <laughs> at all. That's why I said, I said, that's, that ain't, that ain't funny. Like, that's, there's things worse than death. And that's it. That's about at the top of the list for men. <laughs> what are we talking about this? Let the, yeah, seriously. Like, man. Because he ain't condemned to that. There's a place and a time for that for for young, for dudes, you don't that say work. that to nobody. That's a that comes with an underlying threat of violence. Just one time. That's what I'm. You wouldn't say that to his face. There you go. Or nobody, nobody will say that to anybody's face. Not even. I mean, come on. What are we talking about? Can't even joke like that. It ain't a joke. No, it ain't. It's not a joke. This is. These are threats and ill words reserved for men that like to, you know, touch on people inappropriately, things of that sort. 
that's who it's not a nothing joke about it you know it's uh it's condemning it's it's like capital punishment it is capital punishment sure. yeah it ain't funny you don't you don't joke about the electric chair we talking about no. or or dv or you no know, things happening to women people putting their hands on stuff like that no that stuff is a joke so we can't get up here and like I said, gotta be some type of line drawn in the same. Yeah, yeah, everything ain't funny. <laughs> but you know, that's part of Kentridge Band.